Just look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quanchua's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm cover to you. Join me as we make this amazingly delicious creamy shrimp pasta. Everybody you serve this is going to be in love with this. It's so simple to whip up. Here are the ingredients we are going to be using and I'm going to be mentioning them as we go. Come along then and let's do some cooking. First of all, let's boil some water to cook our pasta. I'm going to mince my garlic. I'm using two cloves. There. Now I have half of my onion here. I'm going to dice it. I'll transfer that in here. Now I'm going to chop my parsley. I'm going to season my shrimp. I'm going to add a little drizzle of avocado oil. I'll also add paprika, about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. I also have some Cajun seasoning, three quarter teaspoon of onion powder going in as well. Now I'm going to add some salt. taste. I'll grind a little bit of black pepper as well, just about a quarter teaspoon. And now I'm going to mix this. The oil in here helps for all your seasonings to just stick better. And I have to say the shrimp was pat dry. So there's really no liquid in here. Shrimp perfectly seasoned. I'm going to let this marinate for a while whilst we wait for the pasta to cook. Water has come to a boil and now I'll introduce in my linguine. All right, cover partially and let it boil. Okay, we're gonna start cooking the shrimp. Start off by warming your pan. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil, just about two teaspoons to coat the bottom of your pan. Now I'm going to introduce my shrimp. You wanna arrange them so they can cook evenly. Beautiful layer, evenly spread out. Check in on my spaghetti. Perfectly cooked, I'm going to drain it. All right, shrimp is ready to be turned. Beautifully cooked. I'm just gonna let it cook for one more minute on the other side and it will be ready to come off. Perfectly cooked now.
just look at how gorgeous and all that seasoning in the bottom of the pan is going to be bringing flavor time to bring this off just look at how gorgeous most restaurants don't even give your shrimp this much love there set that aside all right to my skillet I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons of butter butter is love okay <laughs> just let it melt all this coming off flavor I'm going to add my chopped onions you're gonna let it cook until it is soft and sweaty see some of this is lifting off already all that goodness yumminess just look at that now I'll add my garlic I don't like my very very fine I like to bite into it it's all totally up to you just going to let it cook up until everything becomes a little golden at this point now since we say we are cooking this restaurant style we're gonna do what the chefs do in the restaurant so I'm going to add a splash of Chardonnay just about a quarter of a cup it is alcohol yes it is alcohol but once alcohol cooks you know the real alcohol the booze yes the booze is all going to be evaporated and what it leaves behind is that beautiful flavor just look at how it helped deglaze the whole pan yep I'm going to add my whipping cream Give it a little bit of a stir. Going to add just a little bit more salt and pepper. Stir it up, stir it up. And now I'll add my Parmesan cheese. Shred it. beautiful alfredo sauce flavor packed of course that color should tell you this is not your regular creamy pasta this promises to be loaded I'm going to add some fresh parsley here stir it up Ooh, beautiful color if gorgeous was a person if gorgeous was a person if gorgeous was a person <laughs> if gorgeous was a meal if gorgeous was a dish all right now I'm going to introduce in my pasta turn off the flame because I don't want to end up Loosen all the goodness in here of my sauce. I don't want it drying up at all. Just look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. As you see, I slowly added my pasta it is a recipe yes it is but every now and then you would end up putting more pasta than desired 
I want this to be moist. I want it to be creamy. So adding in, in adding this in pieces assures me that it's going to be perfect. If at any point I felt I had more than enough in here, I would have just stopped. Now I'm going to reintroduce my shrimp. I'm not letting all this goodness go to waste. It's all going to go in here as well. Mix it up. And that friends and family is absolutely delicious. Linguini, creamy linguini. Perfect, just look at that. Ready to serve. All right, I'm going to sprinkle the rest of my parsley for that pop of color. Now I'm going to grate some cheese. Just let it rain, let it rain. There we have it. Try this. Thanks so much for watching. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.